ever disrespect you, Jazz. But I've met a few trans girls who, after they have had the sex reassignment surgery, they just let went crazy. Really? Yes. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back again to my channel. My name is Jen. If this is your first time, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and share. So guys, today we're gonna be talking about transitioning and the ugly truths about it when it comes to gender reassignment surgery. So gender reassignment surgery is when they change their biological gender to the opposite gender, obviously. So. If they're a girl, they want to turn into a boy. If they're a boy, they want to turn into a girl. And sometimes they decide not to do the bottom surgery. They just decide to go ahead and just change their outwardly appearance to appear like the opposite sex. But downstairs, they still have the same equipment that they were born with. But this surgery that they get changing their gender does actually leave them scarred for life, essentially. Like, most of them have to get multiple surgeries in order to get the look or the effect that they want but sometimes unfortunately they do have complications they get infections so they can also lose their nerve endings they have pain sometimes odors i know when they're transitioning from male to female they have to do certain things when it comes to like dilation which they say it's very painful so i don't know how many surgeries they have in order for that to get to normal i guess um for some people who transition they do become mentally unstable and i'll put a clip in here of t.s madison who's also a transsexual woman where she basically said the that a lot of the people that she knows who transitioned actually like went crazy um they also became like depressed due to multiple reasons so it could be due to the surgeries that they've had or the complications with the surgeries in jazz's case she said that she's been clinically diagnosed with depression since she was about 12 years old and a lot of people have been saying that might be due to the fact that jazz was taking hormone blockers and she's been taking that um i don't know what age she started taking it as but we know that she wanted to become a girl at around two years old so my guess is she probably started taking it around that time when a two-year-old comes up to you and says mommy when is the good fairy gonna come with her magic wand and change my penis into a vagina you're like okay this is not typical this is not something a normal child would do the experts say that for these children sooner they begin the transition the better what are you wearing in jazz's case that happened at an extraordinarily young age and a lot of people who actually get the reassignment surgery they do actually end up regretting it due to the complications that they might have had but I've heard a lot of people say that they wish that the people around them would have told them not to do the surgery. Um, you know, they just regret everything about the surgery. Like, I truly believe in my heart of hearts that Jazz's parents did her a disservice by letting her take those puberty blockers, do the surgery at such a young age. Like, my goodness, kids want to be power rangers and they want to be batman at a young age sure he might have wanted to um dress girly but that doesn't mean that jazz needed to transition i don't know if anybody is getting me because at some point um during this show you'll notice that they had an episode where essentially jazz was basically to me, it felt like Jazz would have ended up being a gay man and not actually a female. I don't, I don't know what episode that was, but it just felt like this surgery was unnecessary and it felt like they gave this little girl or little boy hormone and puberty blockers so early that it damaged 
it damaged her psychologically and it in a sense also damaged her physically that now it's I don't I don't know will Jazz ever get to a state where she's actually like stable and actually like happy has anybody ever really seen Jazz happy that's that's what's like disheartening to me and I just feel like it should be illegal for parents to approve their children transitioning like children shouldn't be able to get the hormone blockers or any of that stuff underage and, and i truly do hope that jazz does eventually get her life together because she seems to be in a really downward spiral and it doesn't look like it's getting any better um so you guys tell me what you think about this whole like transition thing do you feel like t.s madison was right as far as like people going crazy after they get this surgery or do you think that um jazz is right in a sense of oh i've always been depressed since i was 12 or do you think that's also due to whatever she was taking that her parents approved? So you guys let me know. Um, this video has been fun as always. So please don't forget to like this video, subscribe and comment as well as share. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.